this year I get the pleasure to actually present him on stage in Project Hollywood. He's one of just an amazing pickup artist in general. As we were going out and going to these clubs, I was like, you know what, well, bring some girls. This guy, I brought two girls with me. He, he just came by himself. He goes out the door. He brings seven girls back with him. <laughs> I was like, okay. Well, I guess he knows what he's doing. But without further ado, he can tell you how to go out and get seven girls on the spot from CBS, nonetheless. Give it up for Johnny Wolf. happy to be here in front of all you guys. Uh, first things, I'm going to put my notes from today's lecture on my website, on uh, my blog. So write down the socialsecrets.com, Johnny Wolf, then put your uh, pads and your iPads and your notepads and all that crap away. So I want you guys to be present and really listen. All right? I'm waiting. Do it. All right. Uh, who was... Who's here last year or, or watched the DVDs from the summer last year? Alright. So how many of you guys, how many of you guys saw my video? My speech. Only a couple of guys. Alright. Last year I talked about uh, improvement in my lifestyle. Having my lifestyle get me girls. Alright? I've been in the game for a long time now. Alright? And no longer do I do I wish to be a pickup artist. It's just too much fucking work. Alright? I had a couple of things I wanted to do. I wanted some success in my life. I said, you know what? I want to be able to go approach girls uh, successfully. All right? I want to be able to get same night ladies. I want to get threesomes. I want to have sex with a hot blonde girl that I used to always think was out of my league. I used to want a hot blonde girlfriend, things like that. And I did all that. And I was like, okay, now what? Now every time I, I move to a new city or every time I, you know, I get tired of a girl, I'm gonna go out again to a nightclub which I don't wanna be at, and then pick up another girl with all this bullshit again. Fuck that, man. All right? It's too much fucking work. All right? It's like, if I told you guys every time you were hungry, you'd have to go out and hunt a boar and kill it, and then skin that boar and then fucking cook it, you'd be like, man, that's a lot of work, man. Like, why can't, you know, why can't I just call Pizza Hut and get it delivered to me? <laughs> right? So, that's where I was last year, all right? And one of the challenges that I gave everyone, all right, everyone can hear me, right? I'm, I'm sure. Um, was this time next year, I want you guys to email me, come on my blog, or come back to the summit, and let me know what the hell you guys have been up to this last year to make your life better. All right? I put up a video of uh, like little snippets of what I did the previous year to improve my life and make myself more of a better man. All right, so girls will come to my life. So I'm gonna show you guys um, some snippets of a video I didn't edit or anything, so I'm just gonna play like 10 seconds of each. Uh, stuff I did this year for a couple reasons. One, is because I enjoyed it. Two, is because it got me in better shape. All right, uh, if you guys look at the videos of me last year, uh, if you go on my blog, I have, a, I have an interview with James Marshall uh, that I did at last year's summit. I was at least 25 pounds heavier. Um, and without muscle, it was just like fat, you know? I was still able to gain, because I had a good gain, but it was a lot more work. So this year I said, you know what? The only thing I care about, nothing else, is I want to get in really good shape. I turned 30 this year, and I promised myself that this was not going to be downhill from here. All right? Is anybody here close to 30 or over 30? Raise your hand. All right? A lot of you guys. And you guys can choose, all right? Do I want my life? to go downhill from here? Do I want to feel more tired every day, have less energy every day, or do I want my life to improve? And do I want to feel younger, have bigger sex drive, have more testosterone, have more sex, look better naked, and be able to kick my 22-year-old ass itself next year by this time? That's what I decided, all right? One thing that I, I, I trained for, some called the Tough Mudder. Sorry, there's no uh, value here. You guys see that? This is, everyone, has anyone heard of the top butter? Yeah. All right. Has anyone done it? One guy, very cool, all right? What this is, is it's a 13.1 mile endurance race up a mountain, back down, up a mountain again, all right? All while doing 22 obstacles designed by the British SAS. 
right? This is going to show some of the obstacles that we had to endure. But definitely the hardest part was just running up and down this fucking mountain. <laughs> Alright? So if you guys watch Ninja Warrior, if you guys did, uh, if you guys are in the military and did boot camps, we had, we had a couple of Marines there doing it with us, and they said this was something harder than anything they've ever done. Right? We had to climb walls, we had to jump, we had to do these monkey bars and all across, probably from here to there. And most guys cannot do three pull-ups, three proper pull-ups, and that's just a fact. This year you have to do like fucking 20 pulls to get across. So this is stuff that I trade for my own personal goal, but also it makes me a more alpha guy today than I was last year. Alright? That's a fucking ice bath, this sucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like that is straight up ice, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's ice too, the top. That's a few ponder. Change they have them all around the US. Uh, actually, all around the world now. They have them in Australia now and everywhere. Spartan Race, too. Spartan Race, yeah. The Spartan Race were dashed in like, smaller versions. Uh, this one's the toughest one. Oh, electricity. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, 10,000 volts of electricity that you got shot by somewhere else. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't even know why they said that. They you know, we want, we want to fucking shop you. <laughs> 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 and then you're like, I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing I did, uh, was I had two more pro motorcycle bikes. Uh, here's one of them. Uh, that was on my blog. That was a poster of it. You get out of the blog, we can see it. So this guy actually had 108 fights. Uh, he's a bit older than me, but he's much more experienced. And he kept throwing these elbows at me, so I, I kind of lost my cool a little bit, which I, I regret doing, but um, it was very, very difficult, much harder than opening the set. He can assess. And uh, I, mean, I, I did a little bit of damage to Did you win? Uh, I'm sure I just passed one. I want to see this. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to show you guys the whole thing, but not time. Can you show the edit? Yeah, I'll show you guys the edit. It's like what we want to do. I mean, we're, we're fucking exhausted right now, man. Right? If anyone's ever been in a, in a real fight, like, five minutes feels like. Fucking maturity. Second kicks. Fun crunch. Those knees to the sternum don't feel nice. No. Elbow again. Is that legal? Yeah, more time.
people kept asking me over the last couple years. I was going to show the video last year. Um, but I'll just give you guys a quick snippet, alright? This is basically the last time I was, I was poor and I was like, what is the ultimate uh, thing that a poor can do? It's go out on cold approach, sing that leg, right? And then film it. <laughs> 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 so this girl, I actually met, um, one of you guys saw me approach her at the Monaco during the Sable White Games group camp that I was helping her on. And then, so I dated her for a while. Uh, I tried to edit out my coffee. <laughs> This is a girl from uh, Montreal, man. Wait, I know her. You know her? So, this is that pickup. It's a Tuesday night here in LA. I picked up the white girl first. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking pick up the instructor and actually gonna get two girls. So I told her, I was like, who's the best looking girl here? I'm gonna go pick her up. She pointed to this Brazilian girl that was with like four dudes. I went over, ate all the dudes. Got the girls to kiss, and then spend the next two hours trying to figure out logistics how to bring them both back to my house. <laughs> I don't record this, but none of y'all, alright? <laughs> What's up? Oh, I am. I have a good life. <laughs> So if you guys talk to her and you're being weird and creepy, 
I'm gonna give her permission today to let you know. Right? If you guys really want honest feedback, today is the only day I'm gonna tell you guys you're weird. Right? So ask, feel free to ask me, and I'll, I'll pull you aside. I won't embarrass you in front of everyone. Right? And I'll say, you're weird, this is why. Right? Now, two ways to get over it. Right? Um, one, you have two close female friends that are normal and attractive. Right? If you guys do not, there's a big chance you're weird or creepy. What's the solution to that, right? But until you get two close female friends that you're not having sex with that are attractive and normal, do not try to fuck any other girls. Approach girls, go through the whole process, and befriend them. Put them in the friend zone because you need it. Right? Stop writing this down, it's on my, it's on my blog. Right? Be present, right? Two, right? Uh, stop looking for shortcuts. The guys that are weird and creepy are the, normally the ones that are unwilling to chase themselves and are looking for that magic pill, that magic line, that magic routine that'll make them good. They're the ones that want to study things like, you know, the, the one minute, you know, speed, hypnosis, you know, thing that makes the girl want to cream in her pants just because you can say a few words. Right? The guys that are normal are the ones that are willing to work on themselves and actually become an attractive guy. Right? So stop looking for fucking shortcuts. Pick up is not, there's no such thing. I've, I've looked. Right? <laughs> I've looked. There's no shortcuts. Right? It's only fucking hard work. Right? Do not scan through any more ebooks. Do not flip through any more videos trying to find that magic pill. It's not out there. Right? I fucking promise you guys. Right? Number two, how not to be needy and desperate. Right? This is life's fucked up paradox. Right? Because if you don't have a girlfriend now, it becomes a lot harder to get girls in your life. If you have a girlfriend, it becomes really easy to meet new girls. Does anyone ever realize that? Yes. yes. It's like, yes. fuck life, man. <laughs> life is fucked up. Right? How to get over this, right? Yeah, what do you mean? Right. One, postpone your own sexual gratification. Right. Gain girls into your social circle first. If you feel like you might be coming off as needy or desperate, right, befriend girls. Right. Meet a girl, say, hey, you're cool, I like you. Uh, I would like to be your friend. Let's hang out. And then don't hit on her, don't invite her on a, on a date. Right. Just invite her to hang out with you and your friends doing platonic, non-sexual things. Right? The most platonic method of non-sexual thing is inviting uh, her out to eat dinner with you and a bunch of friends. All right? Try a new restaurant every Tuesday night. So I used to do. All right? uh, number two, stop wanting, watching internet porn. Why? All right? It's because it fucks up your mind thinking that you can get instant gratification, especially sexual gratification with girls that are probably out of your league. Because anybody nowadays can go online and within five seconds, fucking start jacking off to a beautiful girl, right? That is not real life. That does not fucking happen anywhere to anyone, no matter how good looking you are. There is work involved in meeting and seducing a girl, right? Sometimes days, sometimes weeks, sometimes months, right? Stop watching internet porn. It's fucking up your mental time cycle of what you think is okay. Right. Uh, so the third one, right? how to be powerful, alpha, strong, and dominant. Right? Most guys do realize that they're not dominant enough, that they're not alpha enough. But who actually really teaches you how to be more uh, dominant? Right? That, that was my big problem four years ago. I was not dominant at all. Go on my blog, look under free videos. I've been, I've been bootlegging the Pool Summit videos and putting them up on my, on my site. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put up all my videos for free. I'm, I'm not selling any more products, all right? Watch my video from 2007. Watch my body language, my voice tonality, uh, my eye contact, just, just me, just everything about me. Watch what I was like exactly four years ago 
down the street without speaking through a summit and tell me if I was dominant. I was not. Right? Does anybody here dare to say I'm not dominant today? Not <laughs> got Right. I'm not an asshole. Right. I'm actually one of the nicest guys here. I always want to help people out. Right. I'm genuine, I'm vulnerable, but I do not put up with people's shit anymore. And girls can see that, and it's attractive. Right. So how to be more dominant. Does everyone agree that being more powerful, alpha, strong, and dominant will get you more girls? What? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Do you guys want to be more dominant? Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Let me hear you guys say. I would like to be more dominant, more powerful, alpha, more powerful, alpha, 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 strong, dominant. I will be. I will, I will be powerful, alpha, dominant, dominant. Yeah. There you go. Dominant. Strong, dominant. So how did I do? How did I transform? Right? Because. Dude, I don't know if you guys realize this, but I'm an Asian guy, all right? Chinese, my parents from Taiwan. I grew up, you know, studying eight hours a day. I got honors in uh, at UC Irvine, all right? I'm, you know, I spoke at Harvard, you know? I'm a normal fucking Asian dude, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and most normal Asian guys, all right, are either skinny or they're fat. There's, there's usually most Asian guys are not in shape, all right? Usually they're meek. They're intimidated, they're not any of these words. And it's unfortunate, and that's why so many Asian guys come to me, because they want a role model. Right? But I actually get a lot of like skinny white guys, and then like <laughs> the best of the skinny black guys are like, man, uh, you know, if you can, you know, if you're fucking more dumb than me, I something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I invited Steve the Dean Williams to speak this year. Uh, I found him. I was watching YouTube videos, I was like, you know what? The community needs a natural, strong, dominant alpha black guy. Because they can teach stuff. Right. Um, so, a couple things I did, right? Uh, people, right now, it's pretty easy for you people to be like, oh, you know what? That's just, that's just the way Johnny is. And he's probably always been like that. That's fucking bullshit. Watch the fucking video, right? <laughs> did I have tattoos in 2007? No, not a single one. Right? Was was I muscular in shape? No, I was not. Alright? Did I ever have did I even do more time four years ago? No. <coughs> did I ever have a pro fight? No. Did I ever do the tough mutter? No. I didn't do any of that shit four years ago. Alright? So do not lie to yourself and say, he's only that way because he's done this. No, I am this way because I forced myself to do that shit so I could be this guy today. Right? And if you guys are not willing to take that pain and go through some shit that I did, right? you do not deserve to be a fucking alpha male. You do not deserve to get those hot girls that you want to do. Right? The only way to get these girls is to fucking earn it. Right? Are you guys willing to work on yourself, go through the hard things to earn it? Yes. 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 So. Imagine life is a video game, you have a character, right? And you get, you know, three points every time you level up, and you can put them anywhere you want. <laughs> Alright? I'll say these are some of the traits to being the perfect king of honor, or the perfect man, right? Power, dominance, physical attractiveness, primal sexuality, confidence, charisma, presence, humor, intelligence, calibration, spontaneity, right? Just like you have uh, magic. You know, and then you have uh, strength, <laughs> defense, agility. What else is there? Dexterity. Dexterity, yeah. right? <laughs> you don't need dexterity to pick up. <laughs> Constitution. Okay. Yeah. So, how can we level ourselves up? All right. I'll tell. You, uh, first, I'll tell you what I did and what, what, what it leveled up in my own character. All right. Um, and it's muscle. I lost the fat and muscle. Okay. What does that? What does that give me? Does that give me power? Dominance? Yep. Yeah, right. Physical attractiveness? Yeah. yeah. Primal sexuality? Yeah. Confidence? Yeah. yeah. Charisma? Uh, presence? Uh, humor? No. Intelligence? No. Calibration? No. Spontaneity? No. All right. So, if you guys are lacking in these categories, you guys can reshape your body, lose fat, add muscle. All right. Uh, 
there's a something on my blog for the poor, poor workout, the poor diet. Just shut up, it up. This is not like a program. All right, just go on it and, and you'll see it. Um, let's say you want to improve some of these, all right? Improv classes. I've taken acting classes just for fun. All right, what did that improve? All right, that improved presence. All right, because you have to really be present in improv. All right, um, humor, spontaneity. All right. Maybe even a little bit of calibration, because then sometimes you say something really fucking stupid. <laughs> Study pickup, what does that give you? Intelligence, a little bit? Intelligence, for sure. Yeah, All right. But it doesn't really give you any of the other stuff unless you go out and practice pickup. That's the next one, right? So going out and opening set and practicing pickup, <coughs> that will give you calibration, might give you some spontaneity, might give you some confidence if you do well, and might give you charisma. Right. Do you guys see how you're quickly becoming the perfect pickup artist, the perfect man, by adding these things in your life? All right. uh, what else did I do? Uh, probable sexuality is something I was really missing. All right. Just as, as an Asian guy, we were always taught sex is bad, don't, don't be too sexual. All right. uh, I met a guy named Daniel Rose. I first I read his book, and then I read him. Met him. All right. uh, there's a link to it on my blog. It's called Sex God Method. That made me understand sex, but actually just hang out with the guy. And um, actually, at the uh, this pool summit, it was two years ago. Um, I did something really ballsy that I probably, I actually kind of probably been doing, so it could have, could have been over my face. Right? Uh, I was giving my, I was giving my speech. I met a girl at the ballet stand. She's outside, you know, when I was with Tish Mayer, and she was. You know, she was beautiful, so I went up, you know. So not not like you know, LA beautiful, but like slutty beautiful to LA. <laughs> That's my favorite girl. <laughs> I was like, I went direct on her and I was like, hey, um, I'm you know, I'm doing this this pickup conference inside, you wanna you know, come in and help me out? And she's like, okay, that sounds fun. Alright? So without ever meeting her before, I took her on stage in front of two hundred people and another, you know, thousands of people watching, and I attempt to show, demonstrate a kiss close live on stage. And it could have fucking blown up my face. I was nervous as shit. You wanna see me nervous? I'm up there like, fuck, what if this doesn't work? I didn't think of it until we were up there already. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and at first, you know, she was uncomfortable too, because I was nervous, she was nervous, some people watching. So the first time I tried to do it, it failed. I'm like, that's alright, you know, step back, keep gaming, right? And that happens in real life, right? Sometimes you don't get it the first time. It's how you respond to it. So then I, I tried to get it. At that time, I did kiss her. Uh, that same girl I didn't bring back to my house that night, and so I fucked her, but Daniel Rose was there too. Uh, and I was like, why don't you hop in? You know, I want to see some of your sex gone in action. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys got, got legit, I recommend them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why we got to that. But, <laughs> anyway, so what I would like for you guys to do this year, all right, figure out where you guys are realistically. Because realistically, most of you guys probably started with almost none of them. Maybe you guys are highly intelligent. You guys are a programmer, all right, or a computer guy, but you're not spontaneous. You don't have any dominance, you don't have any of other stuff, all right? Figure out where you guys are today. Be fucking honest with yourselves. This time next year, I actually know monthly. I want you guys to go on my blog, leave a comment, tell me your progress, tell me what the hell you guys have been doing. All right? Add me on Facebook, this is under Johnny Wolf Pool. All right? Let me know, because if you guys do not man up, same shit's gonna happen next year. You guys will show up again, still in fucking 2007. All right? I wanna see you guys in 2012, and I want you guys to be present and alpha, and strong and dominant in 2012. Will you guys do it? Yeah! yeah.